And we started construction on the new exhibition center and we're quite excited about it. It's going to be something very uh, critical and, and new to Bahrain's future vision to promote itself as a mice hub in the region. Uh, the exhibition center itself is sitting on a plot of over 1.3 million square meters. The, the center itself, the complex, is going to cover over 300,000 square meters. So it will be the largest exhibition center facility in the Middle East. So we're very proud of that. Uh, construction started last year and we're due for completion by middle of next year. So we're looking very much forward to that and we are progressing very well. And, and it's uh, something that we want to, to promote as much as possible during, over the coming period. So is it fair to say that Bahrain is really banking on a post-pandemic revival in tourism and a future where people are going to be attending events in person rather than online? Of course, I mean, we've been using uh, the, the, the COVID period as a way to continue our investment in strategic infrastructure. This is something critical to us. Uh, Bahrain is going through one of its largest and most aggressive spending sprees uh, in its history. And obviously the exhibition center is one key component of national infrastructure, which is going to feed into that. And as we're looking forward to a, a post COVID rebound, we're obviously looking to consolidate Bahrain's position as a key trading hub in the region, as well as a core events hub for events, mice activities and uh, for business activities. So we do, uh, we are anticipating once business and leisure travel uh, returns that we can capitalize on that with this ready built infrastructure, which is very critical to us. What role do you expect tourism to play in Bahrain's future economic growth? Obviously, tourism as, a, as an industry, as a sector, is playing an ever more critical role in Bahrain's um, uh, economy. It's part of a critical component of our Vision 2030. Um, uh, when it comes to uh, tourism-related contributions, it's growing. It's been growing over the past few years, and it's something that we want to feed into going further with these strategic infrastructure projects, with our vision going forward over the coming uh, period as we look to a, a, a rebound to recover to pre-COVID levels. We anticipate that this uh, growth and contribution to the economy is going to increase in terms of job creation, business opportunity, investment, uh, tourism receives contribution to exports. So many factors that are going to be aggressively contributing to our economic development. So as a result, uh, we do feel that the tourism sector is going to be a key enabler for, for that uh, rebound push for the economy as a whole. And where we want to capitalize on many of the benefits that can be brought in. Uh, both in terms of um, 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 awareness of Bahrain as a destination, but in terms of also stimulating increasing tourism traffic to the country, uh, encouraging further investment in tourism related projects and other commercial projects that feed into the tourism industry, uh, working again with, with different partners uh, to support an export agenda when it comes to uh, tourism um, uh, contributions to exports, and many other areas that will hopefully um, um, accelerate and more aggressively uh, contribute to tourism's positioning as a key uh, contributor to the national economies and, and its growth going forward.